Do it because it's in your heart. Not because you want something in return. Employ your time in improving yourself by other men's writings, so that you shall gain easily what others have labored hard for. This quote encourages the idea of doing things because they align with one's values and passions, rather than for the sake of external rewards or recognition. It suggests that by dedicating oneself to self-improvement and learning from the knowledge and experiences of others, one can achieve success and growth more easily than if they were to try to forge their own path without guidance. For example, a person who is passionate about cooking may put in a lot of time and effort to master the art of making delicious meals, not because they want to become a famous chef, but because they truly enjoy the process of cooking and want to improve their skills. By reading cookbooks and learning from experienced chefs, they can gain knowledge and techniques that would have taken them much longer to figure out on their own. Falling down is not a failure. Failure comes when you stay where you have fallen. This quote suggests that mistakes and setbacks are a natural part of life, and that true failure occurs when one fails to learn from these experiences and get back up. It encourages resilience and the ability to learn from failures. For example, an athlete who falls during a race may feel discouraged but if they choose to stay where they fell. The true failure is not falling, but not getting back up and continuing the race. On the other hand, if they get back up and finish the race, they have demonstrated resilience and the ability to learn from their mistakes, which is a sign of true success. The only true wisdom is in knowing you know nothing. This quote expresses the idea that true wisdom comes from humility and an awareness of one's own limitations and ignorance. It suggests that those who believe they know everything are actually the least wise, while those who recognize and admit their own ignorance are more open to learning and growth. For example, a scientist who is aware of the limitations of their own research and is willing to admit that they do not know everything is more likely to be open to new discoveries and ideas, which will ultimately lead to greater understanding and progress. On the other hand, a scientist who claims to know everything and dismisses alternative perspectives is less likely to make new discoveries or advance in their field. Understanding a question is half an answer. This quote implies that understanding the question or problem at hand is crucial for finding a solution. It suggests that the process of figuring out what is being asked is just as important as finding the answer. For example, a student who is trying to solve a math problem may spend a lot of time trying different methods and formulas, but if they don't fully understand the question, they may not be able to find the correct solution. On the other hand, if they take the time to fully understand the question and what it is asking, they will be much more likely to find the correct solution and understand the underlying concept. To move the world we must move ourselves. This quote suggests that in order to bring about change in the world, one must first change oneself. It implies that personal growth and development is a prerequisite for creating positive change in the world. For example, a person who wants to make a difference in the world by working on environmental issues must first take a look at their own daily habits and lifestyle and make changes to reduce their own impact on the environment. Only then they can truly be effective in promoting change on a larger scale. Serenity, regularity, absence of vanity, sincerity, simplicity, veracity, equanimity, fixity, non-irritability, adaptability, humility, tenacity, integrity, nobility, magnanimity, charity, generosity, purity. Practice daily these 18 idies, you will soon attain immortality. In this quote, Socrates is saying that by consistently practicing certain virtues such as serenity, regularity, 
absence of vanity, sincerity, simplicity, veracity, equanimity, fixity, non-irritability, adaptability, humility, tenacity, integrity, nobility, magnanimity, charity, generosity, and purity, one will be able to attain a state of immortality, meaning that their legacy and impact will live on even after they are gone. An example of this could be someone who consistently treats others with kindness and generosity, and as a result, is remembered fondly by those who knew them long after they have passed away. Knowing yourself is the height of wisdom. This quote simply means that the most important thing a person can do is to truly understand and know themselves. An example of this could be someone who takes the time to reflect on their own thoughts and emotions and gain a deep understanding of what makes them tick. This self-awareness allows them to make better decisions and live a more fulfilling life. It is not living that matters, but living rightly. In this quote, Socrates is saying that it is not the act of simply being alive that is important, but rather the way in which one chooses to live their life. Living rightly means living in a way that is morally and ethically correct, and making choices that align with one's values and beliefs. An example of this could be someone who chooses to live a life of honesty and integrity, even if it is more difficult, rather than living a life of ease and comfort that is built on deception and lies. Let the questions be the curriculum. This quote highlights Socrates' belief in the power of questioning and inquiry. Socrates believed that by asking questions and seeking answers, one could learn more than through rote memorization or lecture. An example of this could be a student who approaches learning by constantly asking questions, rather than just passively receiving information, and as a result, has a deeper understanding and retention of the material. One ought not to return injustice, nor do evil to anybody in the world, no matter what one may have suffered from them. In this quote, Socrates is saying that one should not respond to being treated unjustly or evilly by treating others in the same way. Instead, one should strive to respond with kindness and forgiveness, regardless of how they have been treated. An example of this could be someone who forgives and shows compassion to someone who has wronged them, rather than seeking revenge or harboring resentment.